LinkedIn is a professional network, so we should just post in the middle of the workday, right? Yes and no. We're gonna talk about the best days and times to post according to the research, but I need to warn you, and almost no one else is warning about this and they should. You're hurting your business if you only post during these best days and times. I'm gonna explain why, and I'm also gonna show you how to be way more strategic with the timing of your posts so more people see your posts and more people get to know you and your brand because your business deserves it. Now, LinkedIn favors recency, and what that means is a post from an hour ago is more likely to show up in your audience's newsfeed than a post from a couple days ago. So the basic idea here is that you want to post when your audience is more likely to be online. But one nuance that is rarely mentioned is that the earth is round and there are time zones. So let's just say you're targeting your business in your local area. You're probably in the same time zone as your audience, so you can be very specific with the timing of your LinkedIn posts. Easy enough. But now let's say you're targeting business throughout your country. Now many countries have a single time zone, but other countries like the US, we have a few time zones, or Russia, which has 11 time zones, we have to think more in terms of a time zone window. Now let's say your business is worldwide, then one would think, and I have fallen into thinking too, that it doesn't matter when you post because the time zones are all over the place. But it turns out that's not quite true. For instance, I accept clients all around the world, but if you look at my LinkedIn personal profile analytics, the bulk of my audience is in Eastern time, which is also where I live. So despite being international, I should still time my posts for my time zone. And you might find the same thing too. Okay, so now let's look at the best days and times according to the research, understanding this is just one part of the picture and we wanna look at the whole picture. Let's start with the best days. And I scoured a ton of studies. The results were all over the place, but the general consensus was that the best days tend to be in the middle of the week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, especially more Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And apparently the worst times to post, which I'm gonna show you, actually have a lot of opportunity are on the weekends. And as for the best times, again, I'm just showing you one part of the picture right now. The results were all over the place, but the general consensus seemed to hover around 9 a.m. to noon-ish. So why am I being all doomsday and warning you about these best days and times? One would think it's quite straightforward. Let me show you with this one example, and there's so many examples out there like this, and it's really research and a blog article by Sprout Social. Now this particular heat map shows the best days and times to post on LinkedIn company pages in general. And below the heat map, and this is where I have the problem, it says the best times to post are Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to noon. But what about all these other times? I mean, sure, Sprout Social acknowledges that Thursdays are good too, but doesn't recommend any specific times on Thursdays. And it completely ignores all the other LinkedIn users who happen to engage with the platform on all these other times. So let's just step back so we can look at the bigger problem. It's so easy to fall into black and white thinking in life in general. This good, this bad. And believe me, sometimes I think in black and white because it's so much easier to put the world into nice, neat little categories because it feels so much safer. But then I have to kick myself because the world isn't really like that. And it's the same thing with LinkedIn. If we only post during these times because we're told this is the best, then we miss all the people on LinkedIn during these times who are also really, really good. Now let's talk about weekends. Now one can look at the heat map and easily conclude that weekends are the worst time to post. In fact, Sprout Social says that too. But again, here's another nuance. Most businesses shy away from posting on the weekends. Therefore, there are way fewer posts in the newsfeed for our posts to compete with. So there's a higher chance that our posts will show up in the newsfeed. So that's why I do sometimes post on the weekends. And sure enough, I get likes and comments and reposts. It's not as many as during the week, but it's enough that I've tapped into a weekend audience to make it worthwhile. And by the way, if you're getting a lot of value out of this video so far, it would really mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button, because that really does tell YouTube to deliver this video to even more people. Thank you so much. Now, another thing that's rarely factored in is that our LinkedIn audience is made up of humans and not robots. Okay, so what do I mean by that? When we see advice that tells us to post at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. or any time that's exactly on the hour, that doesn't match how humans work. People aren't like, it is exactly 10 a.m. I must log into LinkedIn. No, people log in at weird times, like 10.21 or 2.47. But most businesses posting on LinkedIn, especially if they're scheduling their posts in advance, they're usually scheduling their posts 
exactly on the hour, especially if they've gotten advice to post exactly a 10 or exactly a two. That creates a flood of posts exactly on the hour, which is more competition. And we wanna avoid this competition as much as we can. So I'm gonna urge you not to post on the hour, but between the hour. I don't know if between the hour is the correct phrasing, but you know what I mean. Just like post at weird times. Now, before I give you a solid plan of when to post on LinkedIn, I do want to just quickly acknowledge I've been busting on Sprout Social and other organizations like it, but really they're the ones who have done all this meticulous research and I want to thank them for that. My main point is that I disagree with some of the advice that they're giving based on the data. Okay, so here's your plan. It's not black and white. It embraces all the shades. First, publish 30% of your posts during the best times, according to the research. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 10 a.m. to noon. Then you're gonna publish 60% of your posts any other times during the work week, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Then you're gonna publish 10% of your posts on the weekends, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. But there's one more nuance I need to mention, and Sprout Social mentions this too. Every industry is different, so we need to be willing to test what works with our particular audience. Because again, we need to think in shades. Of course, knowing when to post on LinkedIn is one thing, but it's a whole nother thing to have the right tools to be able to post consistently, even when you're super busy. And I get it because I am super busy too. So check out this video in the top right corner because I show you my favorite, favorite consistency hacks. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.